A couple months ago, my mom and I and our two dogs, Lady and William, arrived on an island in Southeast Alaska. We had never been to Alaska, and after traveling almost the entirety of the U.S., we decided that there was no better place to own property. After a bunch of research, we settled on a three-acre plot of land and bought it sight unseen. As you may know, winter is approaching us, and living in vehicles was not going to cut it for the cold season, so we are renting out a cabin while we wait on building a driveway to access and live on our new property next year. We're so excited to spend our first winter getting to know the people and the land in our new home and share it all with you. So don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to find out if we make it through our first cold, dark Alaskan winter. Hey besties and welcome back to another adventure. Today we are going to be going cross country skiing in a muskeg, a snowy muskeg. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you along for another point of view adventure. And I'm really excited. This is my second time skiing. I went yesterday for a trial run and I fell about 10 times within an hour. So um, today I'm hoping I don't fall as many times. We are going to yeah, cross country ski on a friend's muskeg. So it should be really fun. And it's sunny out. I'm gonna bring the drone and I'm hoping I can get out of here okay without getting stuck but should be fine I'm getting used to getting stuck in the snow honestly and here's the view it's gonna be really beautiful um from what i saw yesterday skiing is a good time so i was able to rent some skis from the rec center in town here All right, here are the skis. Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec 32. So we're gonna oh, plop them on now. Just like that. Do this right. Okay, so you put that there. Put your toe in. Haha, <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. All right. Yeah, one go. So yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, the skis. All right. I hope this is working. Got my gloves. Hopefully you can see. Bear with me through, you know, the first couple of point of view videos here. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, but we got our skis on. And we're going to create some tracks here. I, you know, I'm a professional now because I watched a bunch of videos about from REI. Oh, this is not slippery right here, though. Okay. Oh my god, it's just a gorgeous day, guys. So we gotta go on this main road here. One of our friend's roads. And then we gotta... And then we'll hop over to a little trail. And then get into the muskeg. Hopefully I don't fall today, honestly. I have a feeling that's probably what's going to happen a lot. But we're good. Here's a little hill here. The roads are a lot smoother because more people have gone through. Oh wow, yeah, no, this is fast. <laughs> we'll be okay though. This is the life. Just gotta go slowly. Make, maintain feet. Oh, it's a little bumpy right there. Oh. It's not smooth enough. I'm gonna go on the other side here. Cause that's not very well. I just can't believe we got a sunny day. Unfortunately, big steps, big steps. All right, I think this is the trail we made yesterday, actually. <laughs> Whoa, all right. See, the key with getting up a little slant, you gotta push, big step. <laughs> big step, yes, I did it. And welcome to the muskeg. So beautiful. 
So I don't really have an idea of where I'm going to go, but since there's the track here, I point the camera down a little bit, there's a little track, so I'm just going to follow the track. This is pure Alaskan cross-country skiing. <laughs> I fell over here yesterday and I got a little frantic because of snow. If you can see, you can see how deep it is. <laughs> it's like at least a foot, maybe 18 inches, foot in 18 inches. And when you fall on that, if you're not used to that, it's a bit spooky because you're like, am I ever going to get out? But this is a nice solid, beautiful, open muskeg. So, this is where we stopped yesterday, so I'm going to have to blaze my own trail from here. Um, yeah, so that's fun. Basically the way I'm making a trail is I'm pushing through the snow very hard actually and compacting it. I think what I'm going to do is do this today and ski on it tomorrow but let's see. Oh I see a good path this way. See all of the little bulbous thingies there? Sorry my hair is in the way. All the little bulby thingies. I think those are trees so I want to try not to step on the trees. And normally it would be really hard to walk on this stuff because it's like, ooh, this is a little downhill here. This stuff would be ultra. Like it's, you can't, you have to snowshoe or ski on this. We'll go downhill here. <laughs> Woohoo! And, oh, I'm sorry trees, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm too nice to the trees. Look over there. Oh, this is catching it. So pretty. Let's go check out the tree line over that way and then make a little loop. And the nice thing, advantage of skiing on a muskeg is you don't have to worry about any avalanches. As long as you're not near any hilly spots, which is kind of nice. Woo! We are making a whole entire trail. And I really don't think the animals like it over here. I wouldn't like it over here. For anyone who's worried, I have phone service out here, so we're good. My phone in my pocket. Yeah, I can't tell. Seems like it would be a stream. I don't know. Also, over there, there's like a little tea post looking thing. Is that a tree? An old power line? Let's go check it out. Two ravens having a fight. wonder what they're fighting over. You know, normal marital problems. Check it out, it's an old telephone pole post. Not telephone, power post. That I'm assuming is not connected anymore. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. See that? Look at that. Look at that tree. Just chilling there. It's amazing all the curves and the contours. Whoa. Yeah, this snow is like at least three feet deep. <laughs> wow. Ooh, I touched a tree. Sorry, tree. All the trees are sleeping right now, anyways. Wow. 
telephone. I want to go to the other telephone pole. Oh, look at that. Over that way. So beautiful. I swear, I feel so lucky every day to be here and to be able to experience such a magnificent place. Like, sometimes I wonder, what did I do to be able to deserve to, to be here, man? Like, don't have to worry too much about puddles and things like that. These giant muskeg puddles that honestly scare me so much. But it's honestly an irrational fear because I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> Little trail through here. Oh, looks like this is pretty remarkable for a second time ski, cross country skiing. Like, this is, I just feel so lucky to be doing this right now. <laughs> so cool. Oh, and the mountain. I haven't seen any animal tracks. Animals don't want anything to do with it out here, I'm sure. However, there have been um, some wolves in this area. So apparently when it snows like this, um, it means the snow is really high in more of the alpine areas and the higher elevations. And so when that happens, it makes it kind of hard for the wolves to live up there so naturally they are moved they move to a lower elevation to be more comfortable and so we've all been hearing them howling at night and yeah someone I know I, I ran into him in the forest on a walk with William and he was like yeah I'm setting up some cameras to get See what animals are out here, see if we can catch the wolves, but um, I hope we got some wolf footage because that's really cool and see what other animals are out there. All right, we're gonna make a loop and get back on the main trail. Wait, right, come on, the sun's already kind of setting. It's only 12 p.m. Yeah, the sun setting getting the sun setting early is will never cease to blow my mind. I think it's so cool. I don't know, it feels kind of like desert-like out here. Like it's wet <laughs> and snowy, but it's just so like quiet. Like the desert. No, hardly any wildlife. You know, it's just miles of plain, the same snow. Man, I need to do this every day, every other day for as long as I possibly can. Because I'm gonna get fit. My next goal is to learn how to ski some slopes, snowboard some slopes. All right, we made it back to the little trail. So then hop right in to here. Not falling into the massive puddle there. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can more easily ski through this now. The trail's not super great. Oh, this is where I decided I wanted to turn a little. <laughs> yeah, so this is a little trail I made now, and hopefully it'll hold. And if we find to come back, it'll be way easier to get back here. And I'm sure my friends who live back here would be happy about a trip like this. It's kind of fun. Going over it again. The sun came out again. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh man. 
I think I might need to get a pair of these because I'm going to want to do this all the time if it's going to be like this. And so now we're just skin along our little trail, making it better and more skiable. I mean, look at this track, it's so deep. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but it's so deep. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> so beautiful! Oh, it got so sunny! What is happening? <laughs> Mamma mia! Wow! Can't believe all the sun! <laughs> wow! Alright, I think that's it. Woohoo! Sliding through! This is one of those puddles I was telling you about. I don't know if you can see it. And Guess who's going right over it? This girl. Let's make this more curvy. Easier for people to go on. jaunt through the snow. This is kind of downhill so it's so much easier. Oh, until you fall. <laughs> There's a little spot up here that hopefully my GoPro won't die before I get to. But, you kind of have to send it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I almost made it! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah, I made it! <laughs> Well, okay, now I can just get my ski off. <laughs> Alright, another steep slope. Steep by my measures, at least. This one's fun. Keep my skis together. Stand. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. I love skiing. This is the beginning of a new addiction. I used to be addicted to climbing. Now I think I'm going to be addicted to skiing, honestly. Beautiful coves. Alright, recording this on my phone because my GoPro died, but... So, I don't normally like to um, do... get... I don't normally accept things for promotion on this channel solely, but um, I got these mats. I actually really was going to order these anyways, and I got these mats from some people that I'm going to go ahead and put in the Jeep. So um, I'll put them in and I'll show you what they look like. Um, link is going to be in the description for these, um, but these came at the right time because I really need some mats for all the snow, so let's put them in. All right, don't mind my extremely messy, wet, freaking situation here. 
Um, this will hopefully make it better. I'm, we'll have to dry out under it. But there's really, it's really hard to find a way to clean your car out here. But these are really nice, actually. Let's see. Does this one go here? There's another way around. so helpful i'm gonna take these ones off but when your boots all snowy and stuff look at that yeah these are looking good i was gonna buy something like this anyway so um, that's awesome they're also making you can easily clean those off it's like a hose or wet cloth and look and then in the back the back looks so clean now so nice kind of a good material them down better but um this will be so good for this winter and can shake off most of the snow but I'll go ahead and just put my nice ski boots right there not have to worry yeah i don't mind this whole mess i have a whole i need to clean up this car a bit but it's awesome i can even fit my snowy skis in here the snow coming off Oh, that's so helpful. Yay. Hmm. Yeah. Well, okay, you should probably kick off some of the snow before you get into your car. But look at this. Oh, yes. Honestly, this has solved an issue I've been having lately. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I put my keys right here because I didn't want to lose them in all that snow. So anyways, guys, thank you for joining me. My GoPro died. I was not very planful and I didn't charge it all the way, but I hope you enjoy this point of view skiing and some beautiful snow. Um, yeah, and thank you to my friend for letting me ski on his property. It's just nice to be out there by yourself. Nobody's out there. It's just you, a GoPro, and you talking to yourself. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, my name's Louie. Definitely click the subscribe button because we will be going on endless adventures, basically. I'm never going to stop documenting um, all of these cool adventures. So come along for the ride. You might as well see what happens. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Forehead kiss. Mwah.